Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will cover one more basic program that is odd even. So mainly we will create one program and through which uh, through that program we will verify whether the input number is even or odd. Okay. So here are uh, I have stored two scenarios. Like I have written two scenarios. First one is where we are inputting uh, the even number and in that case we will get the output as even and when we are passing uh, number as odd then we will get the output as odd okay so now we will uh, see the logic for the same so i'm op taking this program into edit mode so here on line number 10 firstly we have specified the control options uh, for debugging and below to that uh, what we are doing we have declared one variable that is input num uh, that is of a numeric type so mainly we will store our number in this variable and then we will verify the number and display the output so on line number 18 what we are doing we are using one built-in function that is percentage ram so what this uh, built-in function return like it will return the remainder of the input number so the first argument for this number is the number that uh, we want to uh, verify and after the colon we are passing the two it means it will divide the input number by two and then it will return the remainder of the number so if that uh, that result like if the remainder of these values is equal to zero then it uh, then this number is even number else this number is odd numbers okay so whenever this uh, function is executed it will return some value and we will just comparing uh, uh, that value with zero if it is equal to zero then it is even number otherwise it is odd number and in the last on line number 25 we are setting star inlr equals to star on it means this is the end of the program okay so let's see the uh, let me change this value i'm changing this value to 10 for the first scenario that is even number so i'm compiling this program and we'll check whether we are getting the correct output or not so we are getting the correct output it is uh, returning as even number because we have passed the even number that is 10. now we will change the input string to 13 so now it should return odd so let's compile it again and call it again so we got the output as odd number so that is correct because right now we are passing uh, the value as 13 that is odd number okay so this is how we can create a logic for uh, verifying the number whether it is uh, whether the input number is even or odd so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching